I, Wesley Watende Omari Moore, do swear, do swear that I will support the Constitution, that I will support the Constitution. With his hand on Frederick Douglass's Bible, Wes Moore is officially sworn in as Maryland's 63rd governor, the state's first African-American governor, and the third black governor in United States history. Moore said the day is a celebration of the future of Maryland, and he's already looking ahead to the next four years. We can attract and retain top industries like aerospace, like clean energy, like cybersecurity, and raise the minimum wage to $15 to help folks feed their families. In his inaugural speech, he touched on several topics like education, climate change, and keeping Marylanders safe. We can build a police force that moves with appropriate intensity and absolute integrity and full accountability. The bomb's bursting in air. The big ceremony included a special performance from former voice contestant Parajita Bastola, who sang the national anthem. And Oprah Winfrey was even there to introduce Moore, saying that he's been a public servant most of his life. I do believe that your heart must be pumping, pumping, pumping. <laughs> Bumping some wild, ecstatic excitement and love for Maryland and all who abide here. Lieutenant Governor Aruna Miller was also sworn in as the first immigrant and first Asian American elected statewide in Maryland. Governor Moore and I see you. We hear you. We will fight for you. We will address the inequities of the past and build a Maryland where everyone will thrive. Many of the people here said that it's a special moment to see in person. Growing up in the rural South, it was not foreseen to see a black president nor a black governor in my lifetime. And to see that happening and manifesting now is, a, is not only a treat, but it's a, it's a blessing. It's a huge, it's a huge deal. As Maryland moves into a new era, Moore said he's ready to hit the ground running. Maryland, it's time. Let's lead and let's do it together. God bless you all and thank you so much. And families were a big part of today's ceremony. Moore's son actually led the crowd in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Coming up tonight at 11, here's Moore's tribute to the mothers that were at today's ceremony watching their son and daughter make history. Reporting live in Annapolis, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL TV 11 News.